Good morning, yogis. Welcome back to Yoga with Megan. Let's begin by taking one hand that's special. We have something we're really good at doing, something we're learning to do, something we really like to do. And one hand that's kind, things that we do for others that's kind. And we put those two hands together and when we see that I have something special and kind and you have something special and kind, we greet each other by saying, Namaste. Nice job. Okay, then, once we've greeted each other, we take our big yoga breath in and out. So we're gonna breathe in through our noses like we're smelling something super yummy. Ooh, I smell fresh flowers outside. And then we breathe out. So we breathe in, we're gonna push our hands away. And we're gonna breathe out. Bellies get bigger and our bellies get smaller. Let's try it with the ball. Big breath in and big breath out. And in and out. Nice job, my friends. All right, our book today is called If You Give a Dog a Donut. See, it's about this silly dog that goes on all sorts of funny adventures. If you give a dog a donut by Laura Numeroff. Pictures by Felicia Bond. Look at our dog. Here he is getting a donut. If you give a dog a donut. All right, friends. So our first pose is our downward dog pose. So we're going to put both hands on the floor, both feet on the floor, and then we're going to lift up, big breath in, and big breath out, and in, and out. Nice job. You guys want to try woof, woof. Big breath in, big breath out, woof, woof. Beautiful. Bring it back down. Let's see what's going to happen on the next. Here we go. He'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Go, 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 go. All right, our next pose is to be the cup that the dog is drinking out of. So, my friends, we're going to come on to face our mats. And this one, you really want to make sure there's nothing behind you. I'm actually going to go this way. There's nothing behind me that I'm going to roll backwards onto. And I'm going to grab behind my knees. And I'm going to lean back a little bit. Now, maybe I keep my toes on the ground like this, and this is my cup. Or maybe I bring one foot up to make a little handle. Or maybe I bring both feet up. Big breath in, look ahead of you. And out. And in. And out. Now, if you bring both feet up and you accidentally roll backwards, no big deal. Just come back up and try again. Or leave both feet down this time. Big breath in. And out. Awesome job, my yoga friends. All right, let's see. What is a silly dog going to do next? Here he goes. Then he'll ask for some more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. There he goes running outside. He's got a skateboard and a basket. Looks like the laundry's spilling out. What is this dog going to do? Oh my goodness. All right, so our next pose is the basket pose. So we're gonna come on our bellies and we're gonna reach behind and grab one leg. Nice stretching and let's reach behind and grab the other leg. Beautiful. Now we're gonna put our forehead down on the ground. We're gonna lift up both legs, big breath in. And out, and in, and out, and then bring it all back down and sit back up nice and comfortably, maybe to 
cut that pulse off. And let's see what is going to happen next. He's going to go outside. Here he goes. He's outside with an apple tree. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. He'll want to play. All right, so our next pose is our apple tree pose. So we're going to stand up nice and tall. And remember, our trees can be a baby tree, or a kid tree, or a teenager tree. Decide way up high in the apple tree. Two yummy apples smiled at me. There they are. Big breath in and out. <sighs> nice job. Bring it down. I shook that tree as hard as I could. And down came the apples. <laughs> so good. Let's try another tree with the other leg. Is it a baby tree, a kid tree? or a teenager tree. Ready? Way up high in the apple tree. One yummy apple smile at me. Big breath in and out. You ready? I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came the apple. So good. Excellent. All right, here comes our funny little doggy friend. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. Look at that. Silly doggy upside down. All right, so here we're gonna practice doing our kicks. So we're going to come back into our downward dog and we're just going to kick, and kick, and kick, and kick. Let's try the other side. Kick, and kick, and kick, and kick. Beautiful. All right. That silly dog walking upside down on the fence. What is he doing? Of course, he'll need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. There he is. All right, he's got his ball. He's got his bat. So we're gonna do our ball pose next. So kind of like we did with the cup pose, we wanna make sure there's nothing behind us. And we're gonna bring our feet all the way to our bottoms. So we're curled up like a little ball. And we're going to take a big breath in and roll backwards. But I don't touch my head as not on the ground. Big breath in and a big breath out. Come forwards again. Now if that's too hard to do, put your hands on the ground and you take a big breath in. And then I use my hands and I come back up. So do what works best for your body. We're going to do it three times. Big breath in. And out, and in, and out, and one more time, big breath in, and out, beautiful. This is a very silly dog. I've had a lot of dogs, and I've never had one this silly. He'll hit a home run. Look, it's going all the way over the trees. It's incredible. He's so excited. Look at that. Then he's going to do a happy dance. All right, so we are going to do a little bit of a freeze dance ourselves. So we're going to get the music. Here we go. Let me grab that music. And when we freeze, we're going to freeze like a, hmm, should we freeze like a star today? Do you want to choose your own way to freeze? Why not? 
I'm going to throw out star, but if you have another idea, you can choose that idea. I'm going to get my music. Here we go. And we're going to find our fun song here. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, maybe it's not going to work today. Okay. All right. All right, so we're dancing. you want to do. Big breath in and out. Let's try it again. Do the happy dance. You made a home run. It's very exciting. Freeze. Big breath in and out. One more. And now this silly dog dancing will make him hot and dusty so he'll need some water he'll probably start a water fight you'll have to dry him off with your bandana uh-oh this silly silly dog so let's start a water fight we're gonna take a big breath in and we're gonna splash the water good job and another big breath in and splash. And one more time, big breath in. And splash. Good job. All right, you guys sit back down. Let's see where we're going next with this silly, silly dog. He'll wrap the bandana around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. Look at him going. All right, so we are going to go on a little pirate treasure hunt. So let's see if I can find our yoga song, which is A Yogi Went to Sea Sees Me. I found it. Here it comes. All right, if you want to be a yogi like me, practice wherever you are. Listen to the words of the song. Even at sea. Ready? We get out your binoculars and look to see what she could see, 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 see. But all that she could see, see, see was the bow of her big white boat. Boat pose. And this? Breathe you know, like that? So Breathe in the air. Then we go like this again. To see, see, see. To see what oh, she please. could see, see, see. But all that she could see, see, see was a dolphin. Dolphin. So it's kind of like a downward dog, but on our elbows. Like that. Jumping near the bow of her big white boat. Boat pose again. It keeps you healthy all year long. Good job. Here we go again. A yogi went to see, 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 to see what she could see, see, see. But all that she could see, see, see was a heron. A heron. Or a kind of a bird. So you step one foot forward, bring her out of her back, or maybe a bee. Flying over the dolphin. Flying over our dolphin pose again. Ready? Uh, you went to see, 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 to see.
see what she could see, see, see. But all that she could see, see, see was a fish. What kind of fish? So we're going to swim. with the yogi who went to CCC. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. He'll have to get some sticks, paper, and string. All right, my friends, we're gonna be some sticks. So your sticks can either look like a mountain pose like this, or your hands down, up to you. Hands up or hands down. Or down. Or you can do a plank pose. So I'm going to put both hands on the ground, my feet on the ground behind me, and I'm a nice long stick. Big breath in and out and in and out. Beautiful job. What is this silly dog doing next? He's going to fly the kite, I think. When the kite is finished, He'll want to fly it. It will go higher and higher. There it goes, flying high into the ground, to the sky. So we're going to fly our kites as well. We're gonna balance again in airplane pose. So our hands, our arms are right out in front of us and by our sides. You take one step forward and you're looking at something on the ground and you're lifting off. Big breath in. And out. Nice job. Let's land our kite. And then take off again. Big breath in. And out. Nice job. But uh-oh, it went higher and higher until... What happened? Look at what happened until it gets tangled in the apple tree. There it is. All right, my friends, we're gonna do our tree pose. Again, here we go, tree pose again. This time, do you wanna make it a quick big tree? Big breath in and out. Let's try it again, other side, big breath in and out. Nice job. He grabs the apples because the tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks for some apple juice. All right, we're gonna run back into the kitchen to get some apple juice. So you're either running with your knees high, 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 or you can run with your feet kicking back, 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 back. Let's try it, ready? We'll go four times. Let's do four times four 
forwards four times back. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good job. Now let's go backwards. One, two, three, four. Woo! I need some apple juice now. Ready? He'll want a donut to go with it. What a silly dog. All right, my friends. So our donut pose. We're going to come on our bellies again. We're gonna grab our feet again like we did in basket pose. And then we're gonna to roll to one side and move our bodies into a circle. Big breath in and out. Good job. Then we're gonna to roll to our other side. Big breath in and out. And then come back to the middle and sit up. Oh, that was exhausting. That dog just kept us going and going and going. We danced, we ran, we climbed a tree, we flew a kite. The dog had a great imagination though, and I love that about the dog. So what we're gonna do next is now, right now, our hearts are beating kind of quickly, mine is anyway, and we're probably really busy. Right? So we're gonna stop moving like the brush just stopped moving. And then the dust will all settle on the bottom like our thoughts and our heads will stop moving. And we'll be calm. But if we move any part of our body again, it gets busy again. So all we need to do is stop moving so it calms down. Okay, so your job will be to lie down on your backs. Big breath in, you can turn off the lights in the room you're in. I turned off my lights. I'm gonna turn on my special light, which has my beautiful stars. Big breath in, big breath out, and in. And out. I'm feeling how you're to see my stars today. There are no feeling them. They look beautiful. I love them. Big breath in. And out. But you're lying down on the ground, relaxing your body so it gets to be just like the yoga desk brush. Big breath in and big breath out. And in and out. Great job, everybody. Getting ourselves nice and calm. And then, when you're ready, your next breath, you're gonna reach your arms way up over your head, big breath in, big breath out, hug your knees. Big breath in, sit up, crisscross apples up. And then we take some of that calmness, we put our hands to our heart, and we think about someone that we love very much. So it could be an animal or a person, a few animals, a few people, very far away, right in the room next to you. It could be someone who's living or not. You decide. And you're gonna take a big breath in, and you're gonna send them a hug. Let's try that one more time. Big breath in. And let's send a hug. Great job, everybody. Let's take our special kind hands together again. Put them to our heart center. We respect everybody by having kind hearts. Say kind hearts. Good job, kind hearts. 
hearts. Let's put our hands to our mouth. We use our kind words. Say kind words, kind words. Excellent. And then hands to your forehead. We think kind thoughts. Say kind thoughts. And then we say namaste. Thank you everybody for doing yoga with me again today. And I look forward to doing it with you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.